JDK, let me show you how this works. Because this is the one we don't know about, right? Uh, no installation of Technic found. Would you like to change the install directory? That's fine. Um, no, I want to keep it that way. That's fine. So if you're not familiar with Linux, um, if you need to find any of these sort of folders, um, you just need to put the dot in front of them in your home folder. What do I mean by that? Um, I'll show you. Check this out. So if I do view hidden files, I'm going to do this list view so you can see. Um, Notice the beginning. Okay, here we go. We have all these with the dot in front of them. These are all your app data files, for lack of a better term, or application data in Windows. Linux doesn't make the differentiation. It just says anything that's special for system stuff per user is going to be a dot something. So here we have the Feed the Beast launcher here. So if I double click under here, I'm going to find all the stuff, uh, mod packs, texture packs, etc., etc. In fact, I want to grab this guy. Um, is this the one I want? No, 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 no. Dang it. That's just keeping track of them. Uh, let's see here. Where's the one I was using? Locale? No. I thought it was here. New World Mod Pack Yogcraft. I was using this one earlier. Oh, where did it go? Maybe it, went, maybe it goes into the dot .minecraft folder. Well, we'll find out in a second. I'll show you how. Okay, so... Yeah, I gotta... Sign in. I am dead Linux. Okay, so tech it. I don't want tech it. There's hex it, the new one. What is this? Looks creepy. Uh, tech it light, volt, big dig. Big dig sounds like fun. Um, let's do that. We'll remember this and launch. Chugga, 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 chugga. And there we go. So now it's, in, it's downloading the Minecraft jar for you and doing all that other stuff. Um, when we get into the launcher, I'll show you where the tech, where the, how you can find where all the files and folders related to these launchers are stored. Basically, you just open up the texture pack folder and navigate from there. And I think I just don't remember where it goes. So, I'll see that in a second. Wow, a lot of stuff. But it runs just fine. So, yeah. And the only reason I wanted to make this video specifically is because I just don't want anybody to get stuck um, or blame OpenJDK for reasons that probably aren't related and start looking up, f looking for red herrings for a problem they're having with their system when it may not be related to the Java release at all. So really, you should be able to switch back and forth between OpenJDK and the Oracle JRE just fine. JRE, Java Runtime Environment, right? And it shouldn't matter. If you're a person where you want to make sure I'm using separate software, I want to get it straight from the company, then by all means, go out to java.com and grab it and download it and use it. You can do that in any operating system anywhere. If you're like, oh, I don't really want to mess with the operating system the way it is, I'm going to use what they recommend, then use OpenJDK. It's fine. In fact, if you want to just keep your system cleaner, you can do like I did. Keep OpenJDK in your system and just download Java, keep it in your home folder, and run it for those programs you want to run it with and then use OpenJDK for everything else you're not ready for. And it'll work just fine. So it's, and, and honestly, this little right-click trick, that's really in the file manager. That's not really in Linux. Like, your operating system does not really know you've associated this. Only your file manager does. And so it's really not a system-wide change. It's just like uh, picking a file to, or a folder to, or a program to open in Windows. You can change it again. But Windows makes a system-wide change, whereas Linux it's just associating. So it's kind of nice that way. So you have a choice. Basically, you have choices. Big surprise there, right? You're running Linux, so you have choices. Sorry if my microphone got a little scratchy there. I should turn the volume down. You know what? Maybe it's taking too long. Let's get out of here. Let's try this again. And now, we'll use, let's use Java. Why not? We can do that. We'll use regular Java. Oh, it might still be running. Okay. Let's go to the system manager. Let's go under the J's. Do we see anything that says Java or OpenJDK? We don't. So we should be safe. So why aren't you doing what I want you to do? Hmm. Good question. Must have taken a while to crash. I hope the other thing I'm showing you too, 
is some people may watch this and say, oh, you don't know what you're doing in Linux, blah, blah, blah. No, this is generally just average stuff with any computer. You know what I mean? So I'm giving you kind of the raw experience because if you run into this sort of stuff, you may not be as patient. You may expect it to just work and do all these things. And it does for the most part. But you can't have, you know, you have to be just as patient with this as you would be with any Windows computer. Because it's a computer just like anything else. It's not going to be some sort of big magical thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, the Yog box. Hmm. Almost tempted to use that. Why not? We trust him, don't we? Yeah. Um, what's this little thing here? Oh, I can select a build. Interesting. Okay, cool. They've, they have worked on this. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's see if this one works. Bloody chickens in the background. That's creepy. Oh boy, it's got millionaire. And mine colony. And minions. And more creatures. Oh boy. I hope I have enough RAM to run this. Or this is going to be interesting. Again, I'd like to emphasize I do have the proprietary NVIDIA drivers installed. So that may be helping me out graphically. So you may have issues if you're trying to run this on an Intel graphics set or something like that. That's a topic for another day. If you're using Linux and you want to be high performance, I recommend going with the two biggies. Either get an ATI card or an NVIDIA card. You will be a lot happier. Just telling you. Um, if you're using a chipset, you're not going to get as, as good a performance as you're going to get in Windows. It'll be about 75 to 80% as much. Um, whereas if you're using an ATI or NVIDIA, most of the time the performance is not as good, if not better. So we're in. Hofta. This yeah, it says Yogbox. Weird. Okay. Is it single player? Create new world. Alright. And testing. Sure, why not? Switching level from level medium to hard. No, I don't know. Generating level. Building terrain. We'll go full screen just so you can see it. I know it's not truly full screen, you can still see my menu bar at the bottom, but I hope that doesn't bug you. At least you know I'm running in Linux. Now, this is a longer video too, God, I'm rambling a bit, but I hope this is informative. Okay, simulating the world for a bit, saving chunks. Chunky, chunky Minecraft. Saving chunks even though I haven't really gotten any chunks yet. I don't know what you're saving. Here we go. And could you come to the center? Thank you. Cows and stuff, and already we see some ninjas and some weird things. You've not started the creation quest. I don't want to start the creation quest. I don't care. I'll press N to locate villages. To MN. Can't get out of there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's right. They have Optifine and Optimine installed, I think. Um, so, this is a... Wow, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Jeez. Is it another jungle biome? Looks like it. Ow! I've only got three hearts. Let me pump this back up again. Sorry about this. Um, yeah, there we go. Done. Done. Back. Okay, that's better. Now, if we see that exact same sort of, um, Oh, what was it? Like a mountain in the middle of a lake? I'm just going to just die. That's not standard. Oof. Oofta. This is a jungle biome, right? Yeah, I see vines everywhere. Okay, oops. Don't die. Oops. Well, that's not exactly this thing. Huh. Second there, I thought I got dropped into the exact seed. That would be very, very odd. But here we are. We're in the Yog box. We're in the Technic Launcher, and we're using OpenJDK. I think. Or am I using Java? Oh, jeez. Now I can't remember. Was I using Java or OpenJDK? Anybody remember? I'll have to look at the video again. Matter? Probably not. Shut up, cows. Oh, it's cool. So, and actually, this is... Now that everything's loaded up, I don't know why that big dig one decided just not to load. I'll give it another shot later. There's a lot of coal here. A lot of stone, too. Easy way to get started. Okay. Interesting. Oh, get out of my way. Oh my gosh. I'm. Be glad you don't have sound right now. There are cows mooing everywhere. It's really just mind-numbing. Mind-numbing the cows. 
the cows are mind numbing. Okay, so yeah, so I hope this is a good enough test. Um, yeah, I don't know why Big Dig didn't work. Weird. Yeah, and there's sharks. So more creatures is working. Yeah, generally any of the mods that work, unless for some strange reason they have to have a Windows binary in them. Um, and even then. Now, can we run... Um, you might be asking, can you just run Minecraft in Wine if you really wanted to? Um, that would be kind of silly. The jo you're running it on Java. Java is operating system independent for the most part, so in order to run Minecraft in Wine, you'd actually have to install Java for Windows. And you don't really want to do that, because then you're running a Java machine on top of an API that's not native. And while it will probably work beautifully, um, it's just kind of messy, so I wouldn't recommend it. But that's just me. You do what you want. You do whatever you want. Because this, this goal of the series and, and these videos that I'm making recently is basically just to say, use Linux, because there's no reason why not to. Because um, I'm a, I'm a, a Linux, um, uh, what do you call me? Um, evangelist. That's the word. Wow. All right. Okay, let's load up one more, and this time we will uh, use Feed the Beast, since I've already downloaded that launcher, and I've already played with it a little bit. So, this time let's use OpenJDK. So this one shouldn't be as bad, because I know this one works. And I know it works in OpenJDK, so. Do I want to update? Sure. And um, if you watch my other videos, too, I've only got a couple of them with the Yog Yogcraft. There it is. Yogcraft mod pack. Um, and I was thinking, well, I'll just shoot them in Linux instead. I can continue. So I may have to redo my world. Um, but the only reason I'm using Godcraft is because that's really close to being like what the Technic launcher used to be. So this is already loaded up, so I can just hit launch. <laughs> FTB. Setting up my Minecraft environment. Chicken? Chicken bones? Did I see chicken bones? I thought I saw chicken bones. And almost viola. So I may do. I'm, I'm going to start doing um, Minecraft Linux Let's Plays again, just because they're fun. And um, I'm just going to shoot them in Linux, I think. And we'll. I'll check the frame rate just to make sure the frame rate's good. Um, I think that's all I really need to do. And I'll probably shoot them in a window like this, just so you can see the top, because I run in Linux, and I want you to be able to see that, because, you know, anybody anybody can run stuff in Windows and record it. It's a lot different to be you know, going into the Linux foray and making it look as though it's just as easy as anything else. So I just want to make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, it takes a while to load. Here we go. Single player. Pandora. This is a cool world. I'm going to show you the seed, too. Because this is actually really neat. Okay. So I'm in Feed the Beast now. And notice, I'm in a set of ruins already. <laughs> this spawn point put me right next to a big set of ruins. Or a pyramid, excuse me. Um, so, I disabled the TNT. And uh, oh, I disabled the TNT and um, made it my home <laughs> because I could. So check this out. So I spawned way over there, as you can see on the uh, the button there, where it's a spawn point. So not that far away really. And then when I walked over here to the desert, I saw these structures. So I unearthed them and did some little spelunking and made it my home. Then I dug a mine tunnel right straight down the middle of it and called it good. So let me show you the seed. Um, or what is it? Tab? No. Tilda. I can't remember. How do you chat in Minecraft? Is it... Um, no, it's not tab. Is it that? No. Is it this? No, it's not enter. Uh, is it backspace? No. Control? How do you... I guess I can't. Well, let me just show you the... Um, something? Where is it? 
controls, video setting. No. 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 Oh, come on. Statistics? No. Open the lamb, back to games, save and quit the title. I'll just have to show you. That sucks. Well, anyway, I can do that. Um, can't I? Can I show you the seed? Oh, for Pete's sake, why can't I show you the seed? This is just dumb. Uh, oh, come on, is this? There we go, seed. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, it's actually cap sensitive. There we go, there's the seed. So if you want to play this world, please do. It's, it starts you off pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know if you... And that's an interesting thing. Does the world generate differently in Windows than in Linux? I don't think it does, but you never know. And so, yeah. And you notice I already got a Thaumium sword, because I, uh, I was able to find three ingots of Thaumium. Thaumium? Thaumium? Whatever. What's this? Oh, zombies were here. So, yeah. So I hope this was informative, like I said. But I think that'll prove it. So use both, basically. Use OpenJDK, use Java, use whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Um, and don't be afraid of them either. Uh, if you want to use OpenJ OpenJDK, go ahead. Now you know what it is. Um, if you want to use the straight version of Java, you saw the instructions or you saw me doing it here. Um, but that's how you can do things in Linux. And install the launchers, and install mod packs. And if you haven't heard of those two mod packs, I'll put the links in the description. Um, so you can find them both and play with them both. They're both free. As long as you already own Minecraft. You have to have a Minecraft account. And, you know, we also have the regular Minecraft launcher, which I showed you too, so you can use that as well. So, yeah. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this was helpful. So get out there, start playing some Minecraft and Linux, and enjoy. Because I know that's what I'm going to do. So I will see you guys later.